the Washington Capitals won their first Stanley Cup Thursday night. They beat the Las Vegas Golden Knights 4-3. to three. Washington, if you're wondering, last celebrated a major championship back in 1992 when the Redskins beat the Buffalo Bills. We were curious what else was happening in the world back then, so we pulled these delightful clips from the CBS Evening News. This is the CBS Evening News. Dan Rather reporting. Good evening. The woman who was paid by a supermarket tabloid to publicly talk about her story of a 12-year alleged affair with Democratic presidential candidate Bill Clinton held a news conference today. Yes, I was Bill Clinton's lover for 12 years. Jennifer Flowers, a one-time local TV news reporter and band singer, had already sold her story of a long-time love affair with Governor Clinton to a supermarket tabloid. Last night on the CBS News program 60 Minutes, Clinton described Flowers as an acquaintance but denied ever having an affair with her. You know, I regret that she did it. Uh, the, her story is not true, uh, and she did it for money. Both he and his wife Hillary maintained that their private lives were none of the public's business. There's a zone of privacy within which every marriage has to work and grow if it's going to last. Secretary of State Baker is in Moscow tonight with a couple of mysteries in the air. One may be a major agreement on nuclear disarmament. The other, where's Boris? Yeltsin stood up the Japanese foreign minister today, will not address the Middle East peace conference here tomorrow. His press aides have cryptically refused to say where he is or what he's doing. Secretary of State Baker arrived in Moscow tonight, the middleman in a major but still secret arms reduction deal. At this moment, it is unclear what, if any, deal has been struck, but we won't have to wait long to find out. Yeltsin's press secretary has promised an announcement tomorrow, and of course, President Bush will deliver his State of the Union address tomorrow night. Dan? David Martin at the Pentagon, thanks. And there's more CBS News right ahead. Next up, the debacle on 34th Street. The debacle on 34th Street referred to the news from the department store giant, then known as R.H. Macy and Company, that it was filing for bankruptcy. We presume that's where Dan Rather was buying those striped shirts. That was just over 26 years ago. Washington had just won a sports championship. Bill Clinton was in the news over an alleged extramarital affair, and the U.S. was preparing for talks on nuclear arms reduction. 